assalamu alaikum uh, today we are going to cover another topic of file handling um as we have already discussed in our today's lecture um that what is the purpose of doing the file handling suppose uh, here one example is provided ki aapke paas agar ek file hai mein koi bhi class jo aapne banayi hai and uh, there is some data available in that file and you want to store it into a particular file the file could be a file dot det with the extension of det my remote or it could be a file dot txt a text file so both in both modes you can store your data into a particular file so let's see one example over here suppose we are going to create one class over here so uh, this is very important i will add this file as string for uh, inputting and outputting the data into a particular file this is very important this header file after that i will uh, I uh, use using name space std for c in and c out purpose. So now we can create one class with the name of shape, and uh, here I am going to take two manual functions, height and width. and after that i could make one constructor of shape with that could take two parameters of height and width so here you go this is how you can create a uh, one constructor so after that i could create another function with the name of void show data the purpose of this function is just to see how the values of height and width that's it so after that i will create another class for me I could save it, save as you know uh, some name. I could assign some name shape. Dot C P P save it. After that, I can do it will compile and run. So I'm getting an error just because of the semicolon. so here we go so this is how you can uh, create one file now i am going to store my data into a particular file for that purpose i am going to write a function void store 
data input. After that, I uh, will use the class of, of stream and I will need one object of f out. So f out dot open. After that, I will open it with some name. Maybe uh, now I need to create a file of shape dot txt. Uh, if it is not created, then it will definitely be here. That particular file, and uh, um, that's it. Then I will write about dot write function. Here I will take character pointer for the pointing to my particular object this this size of means you are passing the total size of your object here so in this way i could store my data into a particular file let's see whether it works or not and uh, uh, that okay, once you are done with it you have to see whether the file is created or not into the documents folder It will create one file shape. So you could see. Once you created this whole uh, function, then you can also create a read data function. The purpose of this function is using the if string. For reading the data, data from particular file, in dot open dot txt and then open dot read and again it will point to the object comma and after that size the past and that's it okay so for reading a particular file you need a loop not not loop so here you would um, see that and with again you have to see whether your your file contains some data or not. You have to then delete that particular file for the you can just copy and paste that code over here. Okay, so I am just going to uh, 
I want that code that I have written over here. Once I will execute it and I will see uh the output means I have a data scoop like the body color. For instance, I want to search some data over here. For example, I'm crossing here. So, so of a search for now to see if search for you. This way you can just add the condition over here to if um maybe height equal to be a so take height to ten for it out to four meters height three or so that three for me so after that I can run that code and yes found what will be coming if you search for the same thing with the help of this code of simple uh, argument character or integer pass and this code takes up 